Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Just me and the critters. Brad will be home here probably about an hour. So I thought I better get this video done. It is Friday, March 23rd, 2018, 5.26 p.m. Um, let me do the weather. I know it's nice out. So... La 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 There we go. It is. Wait for it to be done. Okay, now it just updated. It is partially cloudy. Um, 69 degrees. Real fill is 71. The high is 71. The low will be 44. Um, and then it'll start warming back. Um, but it's nice out, I mean, you know, it's been a nice day. Um, I sat outside with the dogs for a while, per normal. Um, yesterday, you guys know I was moving kind of slow. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> and, um, just accepting it for what it is. I did do all the floors. I vacuumed all the floors and then uh, mopped all the tile. Like my, that Swift, Swiffer handle thing is just what I was looking for. It works out just great. Like I said, to mop the wet head, the wet the mop head, and then I just go with a, a spray bottle of cleaner and just works great. No complaints. I can usually use those pads two times before I have to throw them away. So, you know, I try to try to do that. But um like I said I like to have my floors and stuff clean. Um I didn't clean the bathroom because Brad had the uh, uh, tub in there, the or the washing machine in there, and um, so I didn't get that done. I'll probably do that late tonight. Um, made breakfast for dinner. Or made breakfast burritos for dinner. Um, but I just haven't been very hungry, and that's a good thing. I'm not complaining about that. And um, then. I, I haven't been feeling uh, real perky, um, but the UTI is definitely back. And with that, the lovely uh, yeast infection. So my wonderful husband last night, um, he said, I, I asked if we had any money left, you know, because it, it, it's before payday. And he said, well, what do you need? And I told him, you know, I needed some, uh, you know, like Monistat or something. Sorry for TMI for those. But, you know, it's real life. And he goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, I'll run up to Walmart and go get you some. 10 o'clock at night. And I'm so glad we live in, in, in a town now that has a Walmart. He's running up Walmart get me. And, you know, there's no shame in his game. He'll stand there and get me whatever yeast cream I need, you know. So, yeast infection cream. So, that helped. I can tolerate that. And then with the Azo, I can just let things ride until the appointment Monday. So, like, just hanging on. Um, but because he got that for me, I was able to sleep a lot better, you know, because I wasn't in as much discomfort, and I probably slept at least a good eight hours, which is uncommon for me, but that means I'm a little behind today, because I really did not get up till, out of bed till two. <sighs> I know you guys are like, oh my god, but it is what it is, okay, my sleep pattern is all jacked up, always has been. I keep hoping it'll straighten itself out. You know, I'm going to try to get up early tomorrow morning because while we thought we had, I had fixed the oven. Not fixed. Not fixed. Brad went last night to use it and not fixed. So he had to call the landlord today and uh, he, I think he's going to be over sometime tomorrow with the, the, with the guy that fixes this stuff. Um, so... I want to make sure that I have the kitchen especially all, all um, you know, just looking perfect and clean and stuff. You know, it's it's really clean right now, but, you know, I, I don't know. I always worry. So, yeah, that's what I'll be working on. Um, basically make sure that stove is just, you know, pristine and everything. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, so I've been reorganizing a little bit. I moved. I had a short little shelving unit. Right by the door. I moved that. I'm just going to put a TV tray there. Eventually I'd like to get a little table there. Um, and that way 
we we can put stuff on on that um, TV tray and under it and stuff. For now, I can put you know um, I have a bin for shoes and stuff. Uh, so going to be doing that. I'm I'm in the middle of doing that actually, and I'm doing laundry too. And we're going to make sloppy joes for dinner and. Make a macaroni salad. I guess. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. So yeah, I'll make some macaroni salad and um yeah, I can make macaroni salad. And Brad wants pepperoni in it. Oh but you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, and yeah, so I'm just gonna and then I'm just gonna be cleaning. I'm just gonna be vacuuming all the floors and mopping all the floors like I do every day now and dusting and stuff and, and that'll be good, so that's all I really got going on. I don't have a hat done. I have a partial hat done because it's the biggest size that I do. So it does take longer. But, yeah, that's what I've got going on. I'll finish that tonight. And I didn't do anything else. I didn't do any 5D. I didn't get any painting done. I'm just trying to get... I'm sick of my house not being all together. I am really sick of it. It's driving me nuts. So, you know, I'm just trying to get things put in their place and, and stuff. Because I can only live with it halfway undone for so long. Especially if you consider that probably for at least a good six months before we moved, we had stuff in boxes. I mean, we started a year before we moved, downsizing and stuff like that. And then another two years of um, uh, dealing with... Uh, what was I going to say? Dealing with stuff being in different locations, still in boxes and everything. So, yeah, I'm really anxious to get everything just, you know, done up the right way. So, um, that's about it. That's about it. Like I said, I'm just kind of mellow. And, um, you know. Life is good, and I just, you know, happy just to be kind of doing the normal, basic day-to-day -day every, you know, housewife chores, you know. I've always been really proud of being a housewife, because that's what I mainly have been. I've worked here and there in, in different jobs. I mean, you know, I consider over my lifespan, I probably have had about 17 different jobs when I count them, and, you know, um... And most of those uh, from teenager to during my first marriage. Yeah. So, you know. Um, but, you know, so I've worked in everything. But for the most part, I consider myself a housewife. Um, you know, and a proud one at that. You know. And I think it doesn't make a difference what, whether you're a housewife or whether you work outside the home as long as you're happy with your life and what you're doing. Then it's all good. You know, I always figured that housewives and uh, women working outside the home always kind of needed to get together and be friends because a lot of times it is a stay-at-home mom uh, or housewives that help out with the children and stuff. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, what else? That's about it. Need to finish picking up stuff, start some more laundry, all that DJ, kind of good stuff. Holy is, moly, is sorry about price, that. Sir. I had a movie pause to start, and then all of a sudden it went off the pause. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's all. That's all about. That's all that's really going on here. It's just cleaning and laundry and cooking and stuff, and you know, kind of get stuff ready for when the landlord might be here. Because the biggest problem is when the landlord comes and stuff. If I don't know when he's coming, I've got to lock up dogs. You know, because I can't control all three and not have them barking, you know. So, you know, I need to, Charlie, I put on a leash and just hold him. And with the other ones, you know, I got to have in the back bedroom and stuff. So, yeah. Worked out really well last night, though, because, um, uh, Bissy's getting old enough now that sometimes, I don't know, she seems to be kind of senile and stuff. And a couple times she's had a little accident, and I don't. I, 
I hate that in my home anyway, and I know it happens anytime you have a pet owner. But, you know, and I really don't want it because we're renting and stuff. Uh, so last night we put the the, ba the baby, they made the baby gates now higher and wider. We just have the wooden kind of one. Um, and anyway, so we put it right in the doorway between the front room and the kitchen. And that way, at night, they still have, and this is when we go to bed, they still have access to the food and water. If they were going to have an accident, it would be on the tile. But the only other thing that's carpeted is our bedroom. We know they won't do that in there when we're in there. So it worked out really well. I think that might have been part of, why, part of the reason I slept so well. Because I didn't have to worry about, you know, is she gotten off the bed? You know, what is she doing and stuff. So I know it seems kind of weird to keep talking about the housework and stuff. But, you know, I've always kept a really clean home. And then when I got really depressed, it wasn't near as clean, and then it just kind of snowballs, you know, it was just uh, such a big mess and stuff, and, and I just don't want to ever have that go that way again, you know, I really don't, I just want to have a nice home, I mean, when, sometimes when you take, take yourself so far down that you don't really have a home anymore, you know, you had, had the um, RV, and I know a lot of people live in them forever, um, but that isn't my style of living. And, um, you know, cause like we have friends that absolutely love that style of living. Absolutely love it. And more power to them. You know, whatever makes them happy, whatever makes us happy. But I just get so excited about having a home again. You know, I will ever be so grateful to this landlord because he does get right on fixing stuff. Um, he doesn't price gouge you. And he isn't one of these ones that does not allow you to have a uh, large breed dog. You know, um, they love Doberman. And um, uh, so I will ever be so grateful to have a home again and stuff. And I mean, you know, they treat us, they treat us well and, and stuff. So I have no complaints. So I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I'm having a good day. I'm just... You know how you get a whole bunch of sleep, but you still would like a lot more sleep? <laughs> you know, I just, I don't know. I just, hanging out. I know this next doctor's appointment is going to be the one, people. It is. But I got to talk with Andy some yesterday on the phone. That was always enjoyable. Um, and, of course, Linda every day. And Linda's doing much better. So, I'm happy about that. Yep. Hi, Booga Booga Girl. Hi, Nixie Noodle Poodle. She's been walking out from the bedroom. She's like, Mom, what are you doing? I know, I got stuff all over the floor. Because when I'm cleaning out, like, the shelving unit and stuff, there was stuff on every shelf and stuff, and I'm kind of redoing it. So it's kind of just all sitting here. <laughs> but that's life. But I'm going to get off here, but I just wanted to make this video and say that I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And you guys make my world a lot better. And I hope I bring some joy to yours. And I think you're awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye.